What's up everybody? It's John here from johnnyoctave.com and I'm stoked to be back teaching you guys some guitar. I've got a cool progression for you guys today that was inspired by the band U2 and their song With or Without You. So um, it's mainly, mainly a beginner uh, strummy chord progression except for there's one little bar chord in there. It's uh, B minor. And if you don't know uh, bar chords, it is the perfect lesson for you, perfect opportunity for you guys to get bar chords happening. There's only one, um, but if you're not familiar, this is going to be great for you guys. So let me zoom in and show you what's happening. Okay, everybody, here we are. So let me show you this, uh, these chords. So the first chord in the progression is, is a D chord. <laughs> Next chord in the progression is uh, A. You know, sometimes you guys see uh, somebody fret A like this, one, two, three. It's totally fine. I just happen to prefer this version, which is two, three, four. Next uh, chord in the progression is is the bar chord, the pesky bar chord. It's this right here. Okay. And I will most definitely come back to this chord in just a second to show you guys how to how to play this if you don't know how to do that already. Okay, but this is what it sounds like. And then the next chord in the progression is G. Yo, G. Okay, so uh, let's back up a minute and go back to this, this bar chord here. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, with this bar chord, if you guys don't know how to bar, Basically, let me show you the shape and then I'll give you some tips on how to make this happen. Okay? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to put your index finger on uh, the, the A string second fret. Okay? And then you're going to put your third finger on the D string fourth fret. You're going to put your pinky on the G string fourth fret. So right underneath your third finger. Okay? We have those notes so far. So no bar no barring has happened yet. So have those three notes. And then you're gonna put your second finger on the B string, second string, third fret. It's gonna be that note. So we're adding that note to all this. Okay. okay. And then this is where the bar comes in, is that your first finger, okay, is also getting the high E string second fret. So that's where the bar is. And that's the note. Okay? So basically, what we have here is that. Okay? So, as a couple of tips, let me let me let me give you guys a couple of tips um, on on bar chords and fretting bar chords. When you fret a bar chord, this bar chord in particular, um, try not to uh, fret the chord on the flat part uh, on the flat part of your finger on the on the face of your your hand. Okay, if you if you fret on the side of your finger, okay. So when you're fretting, you're kind of turning your hand sideways, so your arm kind of comes in a little bit, and you're fretting on the side. You're going to have an easier time uh, getting the power to fret that chord. Okay. The other thing is make sure that you're, you're fretting as close as you can to the actual fret. So in this case, it's the second fret here. Okay? You don't want to play on top of the fret because you'll, you'll, it'll, it'll get buzzy. But you do want to get as close as you can to the fret okay? for a nice clean bar. And as the last kind of tip to kind of get this bar chord is if you can, uh, bump your index finger, the tip of your first finger, into the bottom string of the low E string. 
just so that you can get a full strum out of that, okay, and not have to worry about uh, sounding that bottom string, which shouldn't be in the chord, okay? So turn your hand sideways, try to fret on the side of your finger, your index finger for the bar, okay? Try to fret as close as you can to the fret, okay? And make sure that you're bumping this bottom string so that you can get a nice big strum on that, okay? And, uh, and be patient, okay? All right, everybody, let me show you the strum pattern and what I was using for a strum pattern for this. Now, obviously, this is a beginner guitar lesson, so you guys will notice that if you listen to the track, the actual song, there's no strum guitar in there whatsoever, um, but we're, we're going to do that so you guys can get the, get the chords down. Um, so basically what I was doing is, you may or may not have noticed in the beginning of the lesson, I'm doing all downstrokes for this strum pattern. So what I do to kind of make that a little more interesting to listen to, because they are all just a, uh, eighth, it's an eighth note pattern, one and two and three and four and, okay? To make that just a little more interesting is I'm giving two light strums on one and, one and, and then what I'm doing is I'm giving two heavy strums on two and. So they're just a little louder, so we've got one and. And then I do the same thing uh, for three and and four and, so the next two beats, three and four and. So we have this. And when I strum, I'm kind of, I'm aiming or trying to get the, some of the more bottom portion of the, the uh, chord, the thicker strings. And then when I go for the heavier strum, it's, it's more towards the, the higher strings, but you, you know, you can work that out as, as you play it. It doesn't have to be that, but um, certainly that's what I'm trying to do here to kind of keep it somewhat a uh, more interesting pattern. It's not truly what, what I've explained before to be root chord strumming where I'm intending to get a root note and then a chord, okay? It's not that at all. It's just light, heavy. Um, and then I just, I follow that through to all the other chords. Okay. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Noticed uh, also, hopefully, with D, I'm hanging my thumb over the top of the board uh, and that the fretboard, and that's in, in an effort to get this low E string muted out. Uh, when I switch to A, I do the same thing. I keep my thumb over the board because we don't want that that uh, that E note in the base of A. So let me link all that stuff together so that you guys can hear how it sounds. I hope you guys had fun. I hope that uh, there was some new stuff in here for you guys. And until next time. Yeah.